Magic Kingdom today. There's the castle. It is so hot out today. It's literally disgusting. Um, I'm sweating a lot. And I did my makeup really nice and I wanted to take a nice picture, but it's like too sunny. Like not to mention that I'm sweating, but it's also just like too sunny for the picture to be nice right now. Um, so I tried, but they're not really good pictures. This is why I really just don't do my makeup anymore for the parts, because it doesn't matter. I'm just like sweating it all over the place. So now I'm just, um, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I'm behind the castle, so I'm by the princesses, but I don't want to meet princesses. So I'm just like walking around. It's kind of crowded, so I'm trying not to be in anyone's way. Okay, so I came to Pinocchio's and I got a kid's pizza with pizza, which I feel like is smaller than what I had last time, but it comes with fries and a soda and apples. And then I got baklava, which I've never tried before and I didn't really have it here, so I'm excited to try that. I think it's definitely not supposed to look this messy, but that's okay. I wasn't taking a picture of it, I was just eating it. I'm gonna try that first. I don't even know what baklava <laughs> is. Oh, oh my god, it was really sweet. I knew it was like a dessert pastry, but wow, that's good. It's very, very good. I'm gonna have the rest of my pizza first, and I'm gonna finish that. I'm heading towards Tomorrowland now. Um, I actually just went into a shop to get my mom. Sweatshirt. It's really pretty. I'll show it in a second. I had to ask someone to get it down for me. They were really nice. It's definitely gonna rain soon. I didn't bring a um, umbrella. Oh, I think there's something happening. Oh, there's a parade. Um, my official rating for the baklava was 9 out of 10. It would be 10 out of 10 um, if it if I ate it by itself, if I wasn't also getting pizza, which is what Pinocchio's main um, meal is. So it's kind of weird that they have that there because it just doesn't go with pizza. It just like wasn't what I wanted to eat after I ate pizza. Um, but it was really good. Um, I don't know if the price was that good. It was like um, almost $7, I think. Uh, but it was pretty big and it is also a heavy um, um, dessert, so I think that's pretty okay. Maybe like a dollar less would be nice. I think people are in line to meet Merida because it's where she meets and they just brought that back. I'm guessing well, that's what this is. Oh, that's cool. I've never met her. Oh, there she is. Cute. Definitely need to go to Carousel Progress so I could just be in the air condition. I stopped in Star Trader. I have a nice Halloween display. I didn't really need to come here, but like the thing about me is when I see stores, I just go into them to get to my position. Even though I'm literally on my way to Carousel Progress to also get air condition. That's cute. There's nothing new. We pretty much saw all the Halloween um, stuff already. There's some pins. That's pretty cute. Aw. Look at the little, oh sorry. Look at the little ghost in the background. Aw. I got this last time. I'm excited to put it on my keys when I go home. I think they always have something like this. I wasn't sure if I saw this. I actually saw someone wearing it in a TikTok. And I was like, since when did they have a long sleeve? Where's the ghost though? Oh, there's a pumpkin on the back. I definitely did not see this. This is probably the one thing I didn't see. That's cute. I thought I saw the ghost on the person's sweatshirt though when I saw it on the TikTok. Maybe I was just making that up. I'm just obsessed with the ghost. This 
is a cute shirt, but it says Disneyland, California. That's rude. They all say it. So, I mean, I do have, well, I was gonna say some things, but I think I only have one thing that says Disneyland, because I couldn't find it in the Disney World option. But still. I think that's new. A Woody Lounge one. And there's a Marvel one that I've never seen either. There's a lot of years that they moved from specific spots in Epcot to just being in the parks now. Like the Alice ones, I think used to only be in like the UK, England part of Epcot. Now they're just here. I saw them in another store too, so it's not just like this one either. They're just in the parks now. That's pretty nice. What is that? Is this from Turning Red? It doesn't say. I wish you could actually push this. Oh yeah. Imagine if you could like keep stuff in here. That'd be cute. You can't though. R.I.P. These are pretty cool. Sorry, that was me smelling it. Saw a lot of donut ears. I've been doing a lot of silly stuff lately. But like, not Mike. Just silly. Always lots of stitch stuff. Okay. I can't pretend like I need to be in that store any longer. Always, I'm always curious to see if they have any special anti-gravities. Oh no, sweet corn. Sweet corn. Insert the corn song from TikTok. Oh, there's also, oh, I think I knew about that. I forgot, they were doing that. The Uncle Orville Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow, Sunday, and then you keep the bath up. Where you want to make the day. Oh, Patricia. Yes, Father. Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Do I really have to go? It happens. You'll always have that torch you can carry for them. <laughs> oh, Tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Just a dream away. The rap race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. Down, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now you're always human. Together we are Mac and Jeeves. <laughs> and my brother's an expert in geography. Part of the human monster. world. What's the monster world? No, I'm really good at human geography. You say a country, I'll tell you its capital. Uh, humans, help me out. Shout out names of countries really loud, please. Australia! Australia! The capital of the country of Australia is A. <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna test you further. This could be fun. Humans, raise a hand high in the air if you know where you live. Could be anyone oh. except for that guy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> does the mask of his face, or does his face look like a mask? <laughs> it's a mystery. All right. Well, other than that guy, then put your hands high in the air if you know where you live. Oh, I don't. Know. This should be all of you. Weird. Information for survival. All right, individual towards the center and kind of a white hand. It's right up there. Hello and welcome to the show. What is your name? Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Yeah. Where are you from? Australia. <laughs> no? Yes. Australia is a tiny volcanic island in the South Indian Ocean, home of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Does that sound like Australia? No. <laughs> 
Next, who's next? Oh, who is this? This is a disaster. Just see the bus was behind her and everything. I know, oh, he didn't look so good. He didn't. Okay, uh, let's do this again, but I want to talk to a human with two heads. What are you talking about? There's no such thing. <laughs> Let's talk to the tall head. Tall head, what's your name? <laughs> Hazel. Hazel, what's a little head's name? Soren. Hazel Soren, where are you from? We're from Ontario, Canada. Ah, Canada. Konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Canada is the largest country in the world. Grab your sunscreen because it's a winter getaway and it's home to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> It's a franchise. <laughs> Sorry, Hazel, does that sound like Canada? Nothing like it. Nothing, I didn't think so. I could have just said no. <laughs> Nothing like it. It's not even in the ballpark. Two ball dresses. Hey, oh, hey, Hazel, I heard that Canada has a brand new theme song. Have you heard it yet? No. Okay, I'll teach it to you. Needleman, give me a bouncy F flat. There's a really great place that brings a bell. Did I give you yeah. enough time? <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Okay, tonight. Be me that number with the power of your mind. Oh, I am not getting a signal. Janaya, we need to link up our brains a little bit better. I have an idea. Can you place your hands near the side of your head? And point your fingers up in the air like little antennas? That's good. Even your little mini-me is doing it possible. <laughs> sound like you spit on the microphone. <laughs> Janaya, I have your number. Your number is lucky number five. <laughs> is it right? Yeah. I did it. I finally did it. A round of applause for Janaya. <laughs> so I had no idea that they changed. Well, not changed. They added things to Harrison so Progress again. Um, they just added things to the scenery. Um, most of it was like uh, holiday decoration things, like the first scene. I, I tried to like zoom in on a lot of things that I saw. The first scene had the um, Valentine's Day stuff, and then there was very obvious Halloween decorations in one of the scenes. There's a couple things that weren't holiday related that they changed actually. Like in the second scene, out the window you can usually see that they live by like a Chinese food restaurant, um, but they changed it to, it said like kids caboodles or something, but I couldn't get that on camera because then by the time the seats moved, by the time my seat like stopped, I couldn't see it anymore from my angle, so I didn't get that, um, and I couldn't see what the other shops changed to. Um, I think that was it, just a couple things that they changed, well added or changed, but that was cool, it looked pretty cool. I really like the holiday stuff, although it does, um, 
I mean, I've always thought this, but it like points out even more about how the character of the progress they could have had it be like because there's four family scenes, they could have had it be like all the four seasons. And they don't because they have two winter ones because one's Valentine's Day, one's Christmas, and then one is Halloween, so that's fall, and then one is Fourth of July. Um, why don't I not remember them having the Fourth of July scene? Also, I got stuck on the ride. Everyone got stuck on the ride, and they made us watch the last scene three times in a row because I don't know what was happening. The theater was rotating, and then they just had to sleep from there. Okay, yeah, I do remember the the Fourth of July scene. I was like, did they change the scenes for a second? But I was, then I was like, no. I was just paying so much attention to the like details. I wasn't listening to any of it. But now I do remember like the part where the mom's out on sorry, there's a lot of birds by me. There's the mom's out on the porch like sewing the costume. I just really was not paying attention. Though. Look at all these birds. They're so cute. that I got for my mom so it has um, this 50th um, logo in rose gold and then it says Walt Disney World down the sleeve in rose gold I didn't know this until right now that it has this inside the hood and then it has the strings that are like blue and rose gold but the back is the best part. hang on I gotta move my soda oh no so cool and so pretty I don't know if I'm close enough to see but there's Buzz over there you can see him a little tiny looks like the line is way down for people over so we're popping on we made it greetings intergalactic travelers welcome aboard the people mover presented by Enterprise I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster laughs, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Line. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. First up, Progress City. Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City is Spider Capcom? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Borak. Number two, Progress City. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except for the stars. Those are the bunkers. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. Oh, wow. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition.
I did follow that parade down Main Street. <laughs> um, I didn't really see Mulan that much, but I saw Mirabelle and she was putting her hair. I thought she was saying that, um, like, I like your hair, your pretty hair or something. Um, and I thought she was, like, like pointing to the person next to me because the person next to me was like trying to get her attention um, but then she kept looking directly at me so I said oh thank you but then the person next to me also said thank you but I, I swear to god I look back at the clip I, I'm pretty sure she's looking right at me but I mean it's fine if the person the person next to me also had curly hair but it looks like when I look back at the clip it looks like she's saying you have curly hair like me and like my hair's like exactly the same length as hers, so I feel like I feel like it was me, but it's fine. The guy next to me really needed her attention more than I did. It's okay. Now I'm just sitting in the hub grass. There's the castle. There's the castle. Sitting in the hub grass with my fan. I'm gonna get up my soda. If I can find it. We're just going to have a nice relax. I just realized that they brought the Mickey pumpkins back. Because there's, I don't think you can see it, but there's like a behind that umbrella. There's Cinderella. Um, yeah, Cinderella's carriage, um, pumpkin one back there. But I was just looking over here and there's Mickey pumpkin there and there's one over there. I think last year they only had the carriages and people were mad about it and I didn't know they were bringing the Mickey's back. That's good. I don't know where else they are. Is that one? No, I'm just looking around. Oh, there's nothing behind me. I don't know. That's good. I'm happy for people that, um, we're sad about that. Oh yeah, they have the Mickey pumpkins everywhere. At least over here. I'm by Crystal Palace right now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I think they lost someone. Okay, don't worry, I think the people, well I know the people next to me found their missing part member. Everything's fine. Also, I think there's hubgrass inside my shoe. Y'all, I did not know that Sunshine Tree Terrace has like other flavors. I thought they were go Whips over here, but I got an orange cream and vanilla swirl and I love orange cream. It tastes really good. They also had a Fanta strawberry like float that you could get, which I was very tempted, but since I just had soda, I went with this instead. Because I'm just not feeling two sodas in a row right now. Weird because I've been eating a lot of Dole Whips lately because I just really just go to the Polynesian and get a Dole Whip. So now it's weird that it's not a Dole Whip. It kind of tastes like a Dole Whip, Dole Whip except just like less tangy because it's not pineapple, it's orange cream. But like almost identical taste besides just the tanginess. So it's very weird but I really like it. I have got to start coming to the parks like at 6. Like come into the park at 6 and then stay until late. Well, not late, but like stay until nighttime instead of coming in the morning and then staying till the afternoon. Because it's just, it's so nice out now. I'm not hot right now. I don't know why I don't do that. I have to start doing that. I don't know, I feel like I make plans to go to the park, so then I just get up and start getting ready. And then I just leave when I'm ready. But why? Next time I'm just gonna go in the afternoon. There's nothing stopping me. Unless, like, the only thing that would stop me is if I had work early the next day. And I don't tomorrow. But at this point, even though it's nice out, I am gonna start heading towards the front. I'm gonna go to the Emporium. Because I have been here for a couple hours. There's nothing else I really want to do. But it feels like a waste now that it's nice out. I think that might be new. That's cute. I really like the colors. It's down here, I think. Is it the same? Oh, it's kind of not the same colors. Unless it's not the same thing. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, that's the same. It looks purple there. So cute though. I feel like they're still getting in new pride stuff. Is 
I've never seen those shorts. And there's a ma Ooh. there's a matching shirt with just the Mickey on the pocket, which is cute. It's not bad. I think this is a new range. It has what is that called? Pleated. It has a bunch of different colors in the matching sweatshirt, which I think this sweatshirt's cute without the sweatpants. I like this color. Oh, it's comfy and it's fuzzy on the inside, so it's like a sweatshirt, but it like kind of looks fancier than a sweatshirt because of the pattern design thing. Wow, that's like really comfy. It's $50. I thought it'd be like 60. Oh, it's not focusing. I thought it'd be like 60. That's not bad. This one. Oh, they're two different colors. I think that's beige or light gray. I can't tell the sliding and then there's an actual gray. Oh, well, the pants look beige, definitely. There's the blue pants. Lots of long sleeves. Oh, McDonald's. And a daisy. And a mini. And a mini. There you go. All matching options for the family. Like shorts. Are these capris? Crop leggings. Otherwise known as capris. I guess not. The rest of this has been here a while. It's cute. Wow, that looks fancy. Oh, so does that. Cute stuff. I love this Tinkerbell necklace. Because my mom loves Tinkerbell. I it's really pretty. There's me. Hi. This new spirit jersey crop is so pretty. I'm not a huge spirit jersey person, but that's very pretty. I think I already looked at her, did I? Oh, it's just like the Minnie Mouse stuff that I've seen. Oh, let me check out this way though. I think this is there. I like the, the like design of the Mickey. It looks different there. And it's nice and soft. Cool. Oh, that's cute. I feel like they're starting to overdo this kind of style though, like the comic book and the newspaper style. I feel like they do it a lot. I like it, but it doesn't seem new to me, even though it is, because I've done it before. Oh, there's no more rooms. I had to turn around. Just plain old socks. There's me. I feel like I was so lucky to find that zip up for my mom, because like everywhere else I go, it's only over the hand sweatshirts, so and she doesn't wear those. And I found it in like a little shop. Also, I didn't notice this much. I don't know, maybe if it's just because it's 3X, but it's nice and boxy. I love boxy fits. I've seen most of this stuff. They still have this ugly collection.
I was on the right side to see Mulan, so that was good. She still didn't leave to me, it's fine, it's fine. Um, now I'm out on my way out of the park. I just stopped at the Emporium to get one more thing um, for Christmas shopping, not for me. Um, and then, oh, no, there's a flag up there. Anyway, um, I think my next park is gonna be Animal Kingdom, if not Epcot, so that'll be sometime next week. Um, so I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.